A very good evening. My name is Benjamin Jumbe, and tonight we are talking about HIV vaccine development. With me in studio, I have two wonderful scientists and researchers. I have uh, the executive doctor of the Joint Clinical Research Center, Dr. Sisi Chicho Mutuluza. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, in studio, I also have uh, the deputy executive director of the Macquarie University Walter Reed Project, Dr. Betty Mwesugwa. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, today we're talking about uh, the HIV vaccine development. Uh, talk to us about uh, this latest development where you got a grant of 45 million US dollars and what it's meant to do. We're excited to share the great news uh, that uh, African scientists under the umbrella of the South African Medical Research Council uh, together with uh, eight, uh, eight countries in total received a grant uh, to develop and test uh, innovative HIV vaccines for the prevention of HIV infection. And uh, as, a, as Uganda, we're excited that two of our institutions, uh, Joint Clinical Research Center and Macquarie University Walter Reed Project, are part of this consortium that will be doing this work. Talk to us about the other countries that are involved in this consortium. So there's eight countries in total. Uh, like I mentioned, the lead country is South Africa, and, but we also have Uganda, and then Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Uh, I think that's it. Nigeria. And Nigeria, yes. Um, uh, Dr. Sisi, um, what exactly will the 45 million or 167 billion shillings be doing during this time? First of all, we would like to thank USID, the government of America, provided money uh, through USID. In the past, countries in Africa and scientists evaluated in the clinic products that were produced in the West. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first clinical trial we did was in 1999. Many others have been done by both our institutions at the Joint Clinical Research Center and Macquarie University Walter Reed Project and uh, Uganda Virus Research Institute. But this is the first time mm. that we get funding to actually go to the lab and develop our own vaccines. Mm -hmm. The development of these vaccines, of course we have many trained scientists, but we will also be supported by already scientists in the West who have already been doing this work, but the actual research and development will take place here. I think Uganda is the only country that has two institutions, mm -hmm. and South Africa. So these institutions, the different groups of, institu of uh, scientists at the different institutions, will be working uh, to develop not just one vaccine product, but different vaccine products depending on the science as it is today. Okay. So uh, the research itself and the development requires funding and the capacity building both of individuals and infrastructure also requires funding. Of that money, how much are these two institutions in Uganda getting? Of the total amount of money uh, between the two institutions, we may get up to between 8 to 10 million US dollars. Okay. Yeah. We've had trials before. Um, what is going to be different about this particular research? I think the, the, the difference is every single day we learn new things. Mm -hmm. Okay, So over the many years she's just mentioned, we've been doing HIV vaccine research work. A lot has been learned. But this, this time we just have to continue building on to the knowledge already gained. Uh, and determine uh, new, new, new ways of making, making vaccines. Several ones that have been tested are still not yet out for the population to use, but a lot of information has been learned uh, along the way. So whatever information we have learned, we are going to have to build on. I'll give you an example. For example, initially we thought that uh, it is antibodies that we need to fight HIV. And you know, later on it was understood that we also need um, uh, white blood cells that are called T, T killer cells, T cells. Uh, and now we are not just talking about what is it that uh, we need, we're also saying what are the best ways to deliver the medication? Because the way you deliver it might mean, might determine uh, the type of, of, of uh, immune response 
or, or response the body uh, makes uh, to be able to fight the in infection. So we're using all the information available and trying to uh, triangulate and make sure we can get innovative ideas mm -hmm. uh, out, of, uh, out of all that information to, to produce a vaccine. And which kind of Ugandans or which category of people will be targeted for this vaccine? We, we hope that the vaccine we finally develop as African scientists will be able to cater for Africans, uh, but also globally for prevention. Prevention means it is people who are not yet infected with the virus. Mm -hmm. uh, as we wrap up, um, uh, this uh, effort to find a vaccine for HIV has been on for over 40 years. Uh, should we, should Africa expect a miracle in just this space of five years from both of you? So there has been a lot of work done in the HIV prevention vaccine uh, space. And uh, all the time when we got products that did not progress to be used by the public or they failed, the trials failed, we learned something that then we work on to improve the next product. Uh, technology has also improved and uh, as uh, an example we can give today is uh, the speed at which a vaccine for COVID was developed. However, COVID is not HIV, but the technology that was used to develop vaccines for COVID very quickly, that technology can still be applied mm -hmm. and actually it is being evaluated by different groups for also HIV. So they, uh, we've learned from mistakes, the technology has advanced and so we will just join other scientists in the West who are developing vaccines, but this time it will be African scientists working on HIV strains or subtypes that circulate within Africa. Okay. I want to try that very interesting question. Mm -hmm. uh, do we expect a miracle? Mm -hmm. I, I think there are no miracles in science. <laughs> and research is a very well controlled, very systematically thought process that we have to take step by step, understand, remodel, learn, and until we get to where we want to go. So I, I won't say miracles, because in science we don't, <laughs> don't believe in miracles, mm. but uh, I want to assure you and the public that ultimately the goal is for us to find uh, an affordable, effective HIV vaccine. Thank you ever. so much for your time, much appreciated. Well, the bottom line is that a preventive vaccine presents uh, the long-term effort or long-term hope for control of HIV in Uganda and across the globe. I'm Benjamin Jumbe, NTV. Stay tuned.